What's good, YouTube? It's your boy J Bone. We got the diabolical trial of Shredder, and that is in the Shredder from Ninja Turtle. Cause that's the only Shredder I know. Um, this is by CJ the Chimp. He dropped the banger for us. He's back, and y'all already know, man. We're gonna tap into it. Let's get into it. Thirty-four minutes. Should be a good one. Watch out for Shredder. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> It is time for another trial of the round table. And a new challenger is approaching. Or if I want to be specific, <laughs> challengers are approaching. But these challengers. challengers are all known under one name. And who is this man exactly? Well, uh, Ninja Turtle, let's man. just say this man has been beefing with Turtle since 1987. I brought yeah. back some takeout. So, like, let's get... They've been beefing since I was even... Before I was even born. 1987? I wasn't born to 2001. 2001. They've been beefing since 1987. This been going on. Say nothing new. <laughs> Crazy, right? <laughs> it's Shredder. Where? Where? gentlemen, the Shredder. So everybody, sit back and relax. Oh, Birdman, though. The amount of evidence and exhibits I have on this man <laughs> is about to make this the most massive and ambitious roundtable trial to date. So, Pass. without further ado, it is time to commence. <laughs> The Shredder Trial. They used the boom, uh, not the boom, I was in the boom dogs. They used the GTA font. Fire, I like that. I like that. Exhibit A, man, let's do it. Y'all righty, ladies and gentlemen. I now present to you Exhibit A, the Utrom Shredder. New York City. A city where you can find damn near everything. From your bacon <laughs> and cheeses, a random nigga getting sturdy on every single block, fat ass <laughs> meat <laughs> and, and of course, ninjas. Chelsea? And of course, I beg your pardon? Ladies and... <laughs> and of course, ninjas. I beg Make your pardon. pardon. Dr. Ladies Umar. and gentlemen, welcome to the TMNT Bro, version the of NYC, <laughs> where the streets are ran by ninjas. And to be specific, oh. the foot plant ran by none other than Oroku Saki, or also known as the Shredder. Now, this man Shredder basically ruled the streets. This street man using the, the Call of Duty Black Ops the Buck Ops Street using that zombie steam. He funny for this, though. New York with the iron fist. He had every single rival oh. gang and every single mob boss bend the knee. I mean, look at his first example. We got a run-of-the-mill drug deal going on right now between the foot and some random-ass mob. So bro right here come up and say, You got the stuff? Do you have the payment? Oh, we got the money, all right? So bro throws <laughs> the right. briefcase to him, and Big Dog got the case and started counting the money on the spot. And when he finished, he was like, Do you play us for a fool? This is only half of what we agreed upon. <laughs> yeah, because you're going to get the other half after we take it off your dead corpse, man. You have to sign your death warrant. No, 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 no. 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 Hey, look at the mob. Hey, Shredder is a savage, though. So they start shooting. He don't play no game. They stood absolutely no oh. chance. And these were level one Chug, grunts, drug the trafficking. The foot here. grunts that Shredder right treats like absolute garbage. I mean, look at these workplace conditions, my nigga. This man treats these foot grunts as his personal punching bags. First off, before bitch. they even start this beating session, they gotta glaze the nigga. They all got on one knee and started saying in unison, Master Shredder, our glorious king, we are honored to get our ass beat by you. So the reverse jumping session started. Foot nigga number one decides to pull a sword out, but look at this. We honor <laughs> to get whooped is insane. That's diabolical right there. What it say in the title. That's diabolical right there. Facts. Up to the dome. And he just whooping they ass without even trying. Look at this. be like that. He a whole grown man into another man. And look how we leaned it. A whole hog of ass in his face. And that just got absolutely <laughs> And I honestly don't feel bad for these level one foot ninjas because they probably go through this every day. Bags. They probably just beat them. No, no cap. Like even when Batman be doing this kind of stuff, I be feeling bad because Batman be breaking bones. But one thing about Batman, he don't kill. He gonna break your bones. He gonna leave you damaged, but he not gonna kill you. 
crazy, bro. It's for entertainment. Oh, not fight nobody like them, bro. In my God, <laughs> Max. You ever failed this man. <laughs> well, let's ask this guy right here. So this random guy right here failed to steal this armored truck for Shredder because the turtle stopped him. So bro is pleading oh, for his man. life right now. He is saying, but please, Mr. Saki, you must understand. I was attacked by some buff ass turtles. But Shredder looked at bro and said, Shut your truck. You are a failure. No! Please! So he leaps at this man, and you can see the door shut. And all you hear is this man screaming and getting his ass beat. And you never see or hear from this man ever again. So guess what? Ding, ding, ding. You guessed it. Murder on aisle four. This is dead. But there was one man who suffered the absolute worst of Shredder's wrath because of his constant failures. And that is none other than Baxter Stockman. Holy f what he did to this nigga Stockman. It is inhumane. First of all, you're probably wondering how Stockman even got in this situation. Well, he was a scientist working for Shredder. And one day, the turtles in April O'Neil blew up his lab. So while this man was trying to run oh, away, he ended right up into running into Hunt, Shredder's big ass enforcer. So Hunt told Stockman, <laughs> Seems like you're in trouble, Mr. Stockman. And Stockman knew he was cooked, trying to yap and lie his ass off. But Hunt grabbed this nigga by the collar and walked him all the way back to Shredder. So they get walked back him right to back to Shredder. This but Stockman was like, Well, you see, Master Shredder, this is just a minor setback. Because with your funded, of course, <laughs> I'll be back at work tomorrow. But this nigga Shredder grabbed his claw, got up and told him, Nigga, do you think you're off the hook? You must pay for your failure, Stockman. <laughs> so Hunt <laughs> drug him off to God knows where. And the next time you see Stockman, he has a scar and a eye patch over his eye. <laughs> he gouged out his eye! He straight up mutilated this man. And look how he treats this man on a daily basis. Stockman like, oh, Master Shredder. I know he gouged me. I know. Uh, that, that's dirty work right there. I believe Genius Wayne, he dang. wouldn't be in this situation right now. Shut your black ass up, Stockman. And guess what happened after this? He failed him again. So they took him back to the torture chamber and Hun mutilated him again. And the next time you see Stockman, bro, cut off his arm and paralyzed him. He turned this nigga to Charles Xavier. So <laughs> Charles Xavier is definitely the guy. Definitely the guy he turned into. But bro, I wouldn't even want to live no more. I couldn't I couldn't imagine life being paralyzed. Not able to walk, my nigga. You can't even walk no more. How you gonna get clothes on? You can't even move your legs. That's how bad it is. You can't even move your legs when you're paralyzed. I don't, which I don't think you can. You gotta have somebody do something for you every day. They gotta get you in the bath, wash you up. When you use the bath, they gotta wipe you. Couldn't be me, bro. I'd rather be dead. I ain't gonna lie. Pretty to sure y'all get how this works now. Nah. Every time this man fails, Shredder takes one of his body parts. And yeah. this isn't even the last time. But we'll save that for later. And trust me, it gets worse. <laughs> You might as well so kill him, bro. This first just kill him. Confrontation with the turtles Stop torturing, was just get him going, bro. Beat down. And before this even happened, Shredder tried to sweet talk this nigga Leonardo. He went up and told, bro, Ah, uh, hello, nigga turtle son. We <laughs> don't have to be son. enemies, my boy. So take this sword as my gift. So this man Leo went back to Master Splinter. And when he told him this, Master Splinter was like, Oh, hell no, my son. Don't you dare trust that motherfucker. And this man Splinter was right because PTSD came and hit him like a train. Because years ago, uh -huh. when Splinter was the pet rat of Hamato Yoshi, the Foot Clan busted up in their house and jumped this man. So then Shredder came in and they started to torture him while Splinter was watching. Then after he was done, he kicked the nigga right in front of his face. Ooh, that's traumatizing. So now bro. they knew I, I he ain't know he went through that. So later on that night, that's while right. they're on a rooftop, they end up getting ambushed by the foot. And here comes this motherfucker Shredder. And this man came in pissed off. He was like, I, I gave you that expensive sword and you still decide to fight against me. Did you know how much that cost me? 
Like what? Uh, fifty dollars, bro? Try fifty thousand. Some Michelangelo would say that's something you say. So Shredder says all day long. I promise. And while this man Mikey is just twirling around his nunchucks, Shredder comes from the top rope and drops him across the building. Then he looks over at Leonardo. Bro said, "Come on, some of this shit too." Then over here, look at Donatello just spinning his staff like an idiot. Nigga think he woo calm. Shredder comes behind him and just throws him. And look at Donnie's stupid ass. You know he can't break throws. Then this man threw a sword to light the entire building on fire and just start staring down Leo and Raph. So they all jump up and Shredder just knocks them out both of them. This nigga is cooking them. And then look at this. Raphael gets up just to get kicked off of the building into a dumpster. Then he can't get fire off the building. It's all related on a taxi. Hey, and then Leonardo. had to retreat because Shredder then destroyed the whole damn building. And look at this motherfucker walk out the fire and saying, Oh, turtles. To play. play. I ain't gonna lie, I'd be shitting bricks. Please, Johnson, bro. <laughs> if you know, you know. He's in their shoes. So then he called over his foot ninja. He said, Foot ninjas, glaze me. He told him to glaze him, bro. Anyways, find those turtles. So Shredder had a bunch of foot ninjas just on a wild goose chase, hunting these boys throughout the oh, entire shit. night until the turtles just decided, F it. we can't outrun the nigga, so we might as well just fight him. So later on, they decide to have a standoff on the top of this bro. roof. So here comes this man Shredder, and he immediately said, foot ninja, jump the turtles. So they got a whole brawl going on right now, and I'm not going to lie to you, this version of Shredder does not believe in fair ones mm. at all. Every chance he gets, he's going to jump you. Look at this nigga Mikey just fighting for his life right now. That was on a f***ed up ankle just for Shredder to come out of nowhere. The no he had it on his legs. His ankle was messed up. I mean, look at this nigga. Donatello is clearly getting jumped just for Shredder to walk up to bro and tell him, hey there, little green nigga. Catch this <laughs> four piece combo, nigga. <laughs> Sent this nigga Donatello flying while he was off guard. This nigga don't believe in fair come ones. Come on, man. Look at Leonardo. This man is backpedaling just for Shredder to come behind him and try to sneak him. Bro got lucky. Raphael bailed him out, but they just ended up trading places. But Shredder picked this man Raphael up and threw him across the building. And look at poor Mikey. Y'all already know what's about to happen. Shredder sneaks this nigga again. Send him flying to the wall. And of course, this man Leo's the last man standing. Just for him to run right into Shredder. And Bro just looked at him and said, Night tonight, nigga Tucker. So this man Shredder had him beat. The turtles are it's already cool. down 2-0 against this nigga. So right when he's about to deliver the killing blow, which is clear to the murder, by the way, Master Splinter comes down and bails out his sons. And this man Shredder was pissed. He told Master Splinter, it's like New York's ever-growing rat pandemic has still been unsolved. <laughs> but Master Splinter was not about to take that disrespect. Uh... He led Shredder over to this water tower and gave him the bait of the century. He just started making bro miss so he would destroy the supports of the water tower. So when the tower started shaking, Mm. Master Splinter told him, This is for my Master Yoshi. So, bro, kicked the water tower on him. So, dog got washed off the building, and the water tower fell on him. So, Master Splinter then bailed these boys out. Because they think Shredder is dead. It's over. Yeah, I mean, shit. Hey. Anybody would. Hey. Nobody is surviving that shit. But we would soon understand that this man is fucking un. Killable. And I mean this literally. Yeah, bro, I can't say that, but sure. Like spice shaking ass. It just comes natural to him. So about a good week later, Leonardo decided to go on a morning training run. And everything just seemed all fine. <laughs> Master Splinter was like, uh, take care of yourself, my son. Make sure to get that 40 yard dash faster. You look slow, though. So Leo Dang. goes out on his morning training run. So about one hour later, it started to get a little worried. Donatello's smart ass was thinking in his head. Mm, and it is smart. It's 8 o'clock sharp, and Leo left at 7 a.m. Usually it takes him about 30 minutes to run. Hey, guys, the fuck's going on? I, I don't know, bruh, but something is totally off. And their suspicions were right, because literally five seconds later, Leonardo comes flying ah. through the window, and this nigga is beat the fuck. God. And Leonardo's last <laughs> word before too, he huh? lost conscious was, oh, he, he's back. <laughs> yes, this man Shredder came back with a vengeance. Because while Leonardo was on his training run, Shredder sent his elite guard to jump this nigga. And when they was done, they took Leonardo's swords, gave it to Shredder, and bro, bended his swords and snapped them in half like a stick. And not even a minute later, but they just started busting into April on those. Bro, that's like real metal. This man just... 
That's insane, bro. They say we can make no way today. So the turtles had to retreat to get to the store downstairs before they got overran. So later on, when they got to the store, Shredder comes and kicks down the door, and bro walked in saying, "One, two, three, and that didn't count, huh? How many Ninja Turtles are in my store? <laughs> well, um, actually, you're the one busting into April's store right now. So, uh, technically, you're the one stealing, bro. You know what, Mikey? You actually got a point right now. Silence, you little green ships. Quit all that yapping and come get these hands. So they dive in on him, and Raphael comes in first. But look at this. Bro hits the cut of the century and punishes the hell out of him. Mm. Mikey comes in oh. and gets cooked as usual. And here comes Donatello. He whiffs and looks at the sidestep. Bitch. But nah, I ain't gonna lie, we gotta ask this question. Hey, but why the hell you got a stripper pole in your store? You damn freak. Shorty probably got a secret OF. So here comes Master Splinter. And obviously, Shredder wants his run back. So they start fighting again. I ain't gonna lie. Shredder started getting cooked by this rat again. Because Master Splinter just had too much salt. Too much too much <laughs> so Bro ended up kicking a bookcase off uh, and they decided to retreat in the cellar. So while the foot was trying to open up the door, the cops I know the Splinter always come and save them, bro. Every time. Every time. Splinter always saving them, bro. Well enough. So Shredder told his foot to disappear. But before he left, he no, decided to do some crazy <laughs> shit. Bro walked Dog. up to the cooler and locked them in. Then he pulled out a grenade Molotov, set the place on fire, and started leaking gas. And bro started to walk away and said, This is what y'all get for camping like some pussies. Say your prayers, nigga turtles. So the gas started to leak, and bro blew up the whole block. And I'm not gonna lie, this man had to have caught some bodies here. I mean, you literally see these poor men get blown away. 99.9% of the time, a regular gun is not surviving that. So let's be Thought real, he's dead. Now the turtles get out of awesome. there because of a bit. But look at April, she is devastated. She done lost her whole business and her whole apartment. And the whole crew basically had to leave New York. So Shredder effectively ran these niggas out of New York and put Leo in a coma. Bro was out for like a week. So the turtles were covered as... This nigga wanna watch. I gotta go back and watch this one. Cause I don't think I watch Ninja Turtles. I watch mainly all the movies. I never watch no series. I watch TMNT, you know what I'm saying? The newest one he just made. I, I watch all movies. Just clearing that right now. I gotta watch the shows. But th this, this is a good preview. It's kind of a good preview, so I gotta make sure I tap in fast. Pass. And they so decided like to assault this man's lair. So while they broke into Shredder's lair, they ended up finding some pretty dark I, I things like, bro, that Shredder has done. And that would be human experimentation. Because they found this lab, and it consisted of a bunch of mutated shredders. And also, they was kidnapping motherfuckers. They found this video of these foot mad scientists that was experimenting on people that they kidnapped and was mutating them into monsters. So yeah, this man is a sick nigga, bro. But anyways, they get to the top floor to confront Shredder. But before they get the chance to fight, this motherfucker back. Stop Came right back. In a whole so Shredder was like, Stop me. What the fuck are you doing? Well, Master Shredder, this is my Emancipation Proclamation. Because I'm done being your motherfucking slave, nigga. So this man grabbed <laughs> Shredder, started throwing him around, and dog walking him. Stockman was finally getting his get back from all the mutilation and the torture he's received. Yeah, but his get reparations would not last long. Shredder jumped up and just sent Bro to the shower room. So after that altercation, Shredder was like, Now then, let's get down to business. Shredder starts whipping that ass. So here comes Master Splinter trying to bail out his sons again. But this time, it wasn't going to work. Shredder jumps up oh, and yeah. roundhouses. Oh, I finally got hit. Dang, I'm going to go at the building. For the damn building. <laughs> Shit, we all got lucky. This That's was Leonardo murder. saving his life and not Spider-Man. Because we all know what happened last time people was in this situation. <laughs> Blew that back out. But while Leo was saving Master Splinter, everybody else was just getting their ass kicked. It looked like Shredder at this point was just having fun. Then later on into the fight, he ends up pulling out this sword called the Sword of Tengu, which is a mystical sword that he had made a long time ago. Mm, I remember that sword. I remember that. I remember that. But mm -hmm. he ends up blasting I'm missing the them, all. and knocking them all out. So they were fighting for dear life at this point because Shredder's using this busted ass sword. But they ended up knocking it out of his hand so Leo could grab it. And Leonardo and Shredder stood off for one final strike and well the plot kicked in hard and leonardo ended up decapitating the shredder 
So now the battle is over and the turtles have defeated the Shredder. Or so they thought. Because yeah. this man got up, grabbed his head, and walked off into the fire. And how the hell did that he man, do you this? Well, more this talent. is where shit gets crazy. <laughs> the Shredder Trial. Exhibit A wrap up. Multiple counts of murder, mutilation, torture, kidnapping, home invasion, trafficking, racketeering, property damage, multiple counts of attempted murder, assault on multiple counts. Exhibit B. Exhibit B. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I now present you Exhibit B. <laughs> Sherelle. Now, <laughs> let's get the elephant out the room. This nigga <laughs> is not a Wokusaki. This motherfucker is an alien. Damn. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Sherelle, the universal genocidal maniac. This is the worst criminal in the universe. And he is also the Utron Shredder. Now, it's time to go back to the Shredder? 11th century. Now, this alien race called the Utrams are okay. a very peaceful race, but there was one outlier, and that was Sherell. Now, currently, they have him in custody, and they're taking him back to the planet to be tried for his crimes against the universe. He but Sherell was not going to let that happen. You can tell so he's strong as later on, Sherell ended up escaping and overriding the ship's engines, making the ship crash on the nearest planet, and that planet was Earth. Now, the Ultrons were very technologically advanced, but since Earth was basically so far behind back then, they couldn't repair their ship, so they were stranded. So they decided mm, we might as well just blend in and live with these people. So with the technology they had, they made exosuits so they could blend in with humans. Uh, so one day, okay. when this Ultron was Smart. taking an exosuit on a test drive, he ends up falling into a trap and he gets six flying by a log. And this trap was set up by none other than Sherell. And he looked at the poor little nigga in there and said, <laughs> What a wonderful toy. Poor nigga. So he carjacked <laughs> this little nigga. Poor then little he nigga. decides to just pick him up and just throw him. Who knows where that little nigga just landed? But after this is where everything makes uh. sense. We see these Utrams working. And they end up getting attacked by foot ninjas. And they are being led by none other than the Shredder, AKA Shirelle. This version of Shredder that we've been talking about is a 1,000 year old alien that established the Foot Clan back all the way in the feudal era of Japan. And look at this man. He is beating the dog shit out of these Ultrons. And look at Buddy right here. He's just like, oh, what, what does it mean to this? Oh, what have we done to you? <laughs> what have we done to you? What have you done to me? Oh. Simply breathing the same air as me. Look at him. He is breathing the same air as me. This motherfucker been jumping niggas since the last century. Now, y'all remember that sword? <laughs> this, the sword is this, bro. this is when it was oh made. My God, so he had bro. blacksmiths build him a sword Dog, that was salvaged egg? from the Utrom technology. So the blacksmith presented him with the sword, and the blacksmith told him, Oh, yes. Now, are you ready to discuss payments, Lord Shredder? Payments? <laughs> oh, I will gladly give you payment. So he aimed the sword at them and blew it down. Why? They gladly built that sword for you, and you just blew him to bits. <laughs> okay, nigga. Triple homicide on all three. So after this, throughout the century, Shredder just expanded the foot to what we know it is as today. And has been beefing and has been trying to kill all the Utrams ever since. And anybody allied they with them. Train. Y'all remember Master Yoshi? Splinter's master? Yeah, he has been allied yeah. with the Utrams and has been beefing with Shredder for years. He even corrupted his best friend to defect and fight to the death while he watched. Like, this man is 100% pure evil. Not a single redeeming quality. So now, let's go back to the present. Now, Different, after bro. this man dodged death Ugh, again, I mean, this on? man had a fight with the Utahs and the Turtles and survived oh, a building that imploded on him. <laughs> Still to this day, I don't know how bro survived this. He decided to take out his anger on none other than Baxter Stockman. This now, man as we saw evil? earlier, Stockman tried to kill Shred but failed miserably. So Shredder decided it was time for some more punishment. And I mean severe punishment. 
Because the next time you see Baxter Stockman, this man has been reduced to a brain and an eyeball in a globe! <laughs> Honest to God is a fate worse than death. This man has lost his body, and the only thing he has left is his nervous system in a jar. And what was the most fucked up thing? Shredder looked at him and told him, Baxter Stockman, it seems that you have overdosed on Ozempic. And then look at this, they start shocking this man in the tomb. This is actually horrible. <laughs> This was shown on four kids is insane because we slowly watch this dude get mutilated and reduced all the way to a brain in a jar. Crazy work, bro. So fast forward a couple days later and the turtles confront Shredder on this ship. So obviously Shredder starts talking shit immediately. Ah, little turtles, fancy that you are here because now you can be test subjects to my new football. So this robot walks up and blows this crap Oh yeah, this man on a whole different level. Paul ends up breaking out. And of course Shredder and Splinter face off again. And poor old Master Splinter got his ass whooped. Like Shredder was peeing off on this nigga. Like you can see the pain in Master Splinter shaking his head like, oh, oh. Lordy, Lordy, Lord, I'm getting too old for this shit. Man. This explosion goes off. And Splinter oh. ends up getting knocked down. And Unk is not getting up. Somebody need to call Life Boy for this old nigga now. Because Shredder's about to kill this man. But this Triceraton ran Shredder away. So he is a boxer with Dino, nigga. And this big ass motherfucker picked him up and threw. Yeah, bro. This is <laughs> wild, bro. No, it's funny as it. He said it's old, nigga. He's the recording, right? I bet. <laughs> Cause Shredder's about to kill this man, but this Triceraton ran Shredder away. Oh, so he's a boxer with Dino, nigga, and this big ass motherfucker picked him up and threw him across the ship and hey, okay. lifted him into this fire pit. So Big Dog thought he won. He was like, "Victory for the Republic!" But the turtles was like, "Yo, turn around, bro!" Cause this motherfucker Shredder got up and stabbed oh. him in the booty. <laughs> Why is this man on, bro? Why is this man on my screen right now, folks? Dog, I'm hearing so much. <laughs> Why y'all doing Diddy like that, bro? <laughs> It looks like he stabbed him in the ass. Uh, so while Shredder's walking over to kill the turtles, Dino uh, nigga gets a bear hug Shredder, takes him over to the fire pit, uh, and falls in it with the Trying to make so sure that man did. No way Shredder survives this. The ship literally blows up, and bro got dragged down to the bottom of the ocean by Dino nigga. <laughs> well, uh, he lives to see another day. I will say this once and I will say it again. This man is unkillable. Oh, and by the way, Dino nigga's dead. That man did not come out that water. So his sacrifice is in vain. So we got another murder on our one. So after this, Shredder decided to do another nefarious act. So the city of okay. Beijing became a floating city after the Triceratons tried to invade Earth. So Shredder wanted the thing that was making the city float. So you know what bro decided to do? Steal the thing and try to drop the city on the Earth. Like dog, this nigga is an actual maniac. And guess what? When Hun and Baxter Stockman failed to get the job done, he made these boys slaves. Dang. I'm not kidding. Why you want to show Umar, bro? Why you show Umar? Oh, Lord, have mercy. This guy needs to stop these reparations immediately. Because his brother done lost his body, and now he a damn slave. And look at Shredder come in. Stockman was like, oh, oh Lord, Master Shredder, I, I, I'm working diligently. Nigga, did I say that you could speak? Lord, squeaker, so more time would pass yeah, and Shredder would start gaining more influence in the city. I mean, he had the mayor on his payroll and he started to build a ship because he wanted to go to the home planet of the Utrams and conquer their planet. But the Turtles was not having that shit because if they don't stop him now, he's going to go to the galaxy. Like so they pull up on Shredder and they go sugarcoat it. They start jumping the hell out of this man. Like, this shit was crazy. They had bro stumbling and shit. Bro fell to the ground and he was like, in all my 
centuries. I've never had my ass beat like this. Yeah, so now the shredder was not about to go out like no bitch. Go pop up and start beating the hell out of everybody. Oh, shit. These niggas on a wall. And split. Niggas with rock lee mode on them. God hey, damn. from the top rope, the dog caught the sword and kicked him across the room. So shredder ends up fleeing all the way to his ship. And he takes off into space. So it was time for the. Alright, we back, YouTube. Y'all know my camera calling recorded for 30 minutes, then it stopped automatically. Let's get back to it, though. Confrontation. So Shredder pulls up in his spinal box armor that's got four fing arms on some General Grievous shit. So Shredder, with the help of his delusional daughter, Karai, start whipping their ass. Like he's just throwing these niggas. And then look at this. They tried to run up and electrocute bro, but bro grabbed the wires from him and he electrocutes Master Splitter. Unk was done for. Then bro stepped behind Leonardo, booted him all the way to Karai, and she stabbed him. Leonardo was cooked. Then it was Raphael's turn. Bro grabs him and hits him with the GPS. This nigga oh. think he's CM Punk. And here come Mikey with his legs kicking out and stomped on. Dang. And of course, here comes Donatello coming to get washed like usual. This brother smart as hell, but goddamn, he the one that get his ass beat the most. And no, I swear, Donatello the teenage mutant ninja turtles. He won the final battle. So while he was about to kill Leonardo, Karai comes in and stops him. And this man was pissed. He was like, what the fuck are you doing? Father, this is dishonorable. Have you no honor, my nigga? Oh, <laughs> Oh Lord, have mercy! This nigga's terrible. But right before this was bro, about to happen, pop, the Ultron pulled up, pop, bro, stopped time, and gross. walked everybody off the ship because they was coming back to Earth to arrest this nigga. <laughs> so we end up going to the Ultron homeworld, and they are about to put this man <laughs> on trial for all the atrocities uh. he has committed. And my God, when you hear some of this shit, it. <laughs> is absurd. So the first thing that they bring up, that on this one planet, their ruler Dolph Ed testified that he willingly launched an attack on this planet called Enifgold and over one million innocent people were killed. Oh, but we're not done. Next up, this alien Juan Ron Otho proved that he incited a civil war on this planet called Eno 2 in an effort to mine their raw minerals without restriction. Now guess how many people died during this? A whopping 3.2 million. This is body so that's count like five is in the millions. Bro. And I saw one comment before I made this video. Something said, he's making a video on Shredder? What does bro do? Doesn't he just fight turtles? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, bro. And then they got him on conspiracy to overthrow the government. So all the Utrons in the Galactic Council came together and said, Sherelle, we the Galactic Council find you guilty and you will be banished to eternal exile. <laughs> so they exiled <laughs> this man to a freezing planet. And Dang. that was the end of the Utron Shredder. Until he decided to try to destroy the multiverse, of course. Bro, he, he just was saying, you ain't the ones that keep coming back. Exhibit B wrap up. Multiple assaults, bribery, conspiracy, mutilation, attempted mass murder, multiple counts of murder, slavery, <laughs> multiple counts of genocide. Exhibit C. Last exhibit. Y'all righty, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our final exhibit. And that, of course, is multiversal destruction. Mm. So after Shredder got exiled on the frozen planet, he ended up getting saved by none other than the 1987 Shredder. Now, the reason why he did this is because, well, the 87 Shredder is kind of horrible. That's the first time I see one punch man and he was nervous tired and scared. of getting ass beat every episode. So he wanted to see what he could learn from his other counterparts. So, of course, he chose the evilest one out of all of them, the Utrom Shredder. Now, Utrom Shredder obviously betrayed 87 Shredder because this nigga's an idiot. And he decided, I'm going to destroy every single Ninja Turtle that ever existed. So he took over 87 Shredder's techno drum and started to wreak havoc across the city. Shit, the whole military pulled up. They called the Army, Air Force, Marines, and God, they they are my army. ended up becoming cannon fodder. This nigga was killing multiple people. And this maniac is just laughing while he's committing mass murder. Terrorizing, that's number one. This motherfucker. 
Doctor is crazy. It got to the point 87 started and Crane started to question this. They walked up to him and said, ah, what the devil are you doing? That's just destroy the turtles and be done with it. Yeah, destroy them already, man. Ooh, you bum ass niggas dare question me? Shut the fuck up. Oh, he's got to kill everybody has abuse. Terrorizing nasty abuse. work. So later on, this man ended Sick. up capturing the 2003 Turtles and the 1987 ones so he could use their DNA to find the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So he mm. found Turtle Prime, which was the world of the first issue of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in 1984. And he starts to destroy their world. This nigga's destroying the first comic. He's a f***ing maniac. So it was time for the final, final battle. So to save the multiverse, the 2003, 87, and 84 Turtles, along with 87 Shredder, Krang, Karai, and Master Splinter was about to jump this man. Because if he it ain't gonna work. this Come on, universe, man. everybody gets erased from existence. So this mother turned into a giant, and he said, Oh, this is my lucky day. I count 12 Turtles, a rat. So this man just starts to destroy everything. This stupid ass nigga Crane turned giant just to get his ass in what? Then this man turned his hand into a Gatling gun and started spraying and praying. And this just ended up becoming a whole episode of AOT. Because this man then became a damn titan and he trying to stomp on niggas now. So then he snatched the 84 turtles and started squeezing them to death. And this took everybody out. Because since they're dying, everybody's dying. Uh, Even Shredder himself. So what? Karai fled to him. She tried to talk no jokes to him. She said, Father, please, are you willing to destroy yourself for some damn titles? And he stopped for a second. But then he thought to himself and decided, You little green shits are the bane of my existence. So if I die too, so be it. So this man is about to destroy everything, even uh, himself. As nigga is Vegeta. Bro is Final, to uh, destroy explosion. himself just so they don't kill exist. Himself. This might be the craziest hate boner of all time. Dio, you got competition, buddy. So right before the multiverse is about to be erased, this man ends up getting hit by ninja stars. In 87, Donatello actually came in clutch. It's a miracle. And Shredder ended up getting hit by his own techno drone laser, evaporating him and finally putting him in to the Utram Shredder. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, yes, with all of these charges, there should be no debate he passes trial. We are round tabling this nigga now. This little bastard is the definition of a menace to society. Thanks. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, one trial down and two more to go. So now I know the question's coming. CJ, when's the second trial drop? Well, I got good news for you. I'm already damn near done with it. So, until we return, the jury is adjourned, and the trial of the Utram Shredder comes to a close. Man, make sure I subscribe, man. Watch out for that was fire. Hit that subscribe button, man, if you enjoyed the video. Y'all been wanting more CJ at the 10th video, so when I seen this drop, I had to get on it ASAP. Here y'all go, man. I'm gonna drop this y'all right now, and y'all let me know what else y'all wanna see next. And thank y'all for 33K. Roll to 40k. We out.